Okay, so here we are on Daybreak. Let's get these introductions out of the way quickly because we've got some proxy barracks going down. Our uh, first player down the bottom left-hand corner. Spawning in as the Purple Zerg, it is... 440 Gaming, Zode. Looking like it's experiencing a little bit of lag, but that's also that luckily, I hope. Uh, and up in the top right hand corner, facing him, his opponent, the Red Terran. Templar Gaming Boomerang. And yeah, looks like we've got a good old traditional 11 11 racks. And Zode is going to scout this. He sees the one building and he sees uh, the other one. But the question is whether or not it's too late. One of the barracks is already complete and the Marine's going to pop out. It shouldn't be able to chase down this Overlord, but uh, Zode is now on the lookout for SCV. I think he saw that came just within the vision range of his hatchery. And the SCV is, of course, going to be plant, trying to plant down a barracks, give those Marines a little bit of additional protection. Uh, and he's. it looks like he's going to do it quite far back to start with. So it's a uh, very gradual, careful... Uh, come here, I'm going to come out of Boomerang, and uh, Zode is, I think, doing exactly the response to this, pulling a ton of drones to really make sure he nails the defense here. It's going to come down to the micro as to whether or not Boomerang can do anything. I'm a little surprised that he hasn't actually thrown down a, tar a bunker already, because Boomerang's got way than, more than enough minerals to it, and now he does. The drones are going to try and get started on the Marines, and Marines kiting away, already taking down two drones. Uh, not quite getting a third yet, but... Uh, the drones are pushing them away, and that bunker is not yet finished. Boomerang took a long, long time to plant it down, so now the S now the Lings have come out, and they're perfectly able to break down that bunker before it finishes and kill the SCV. So, yeah, oh, you can get surrounded it really, really nicely. So, yeah, I, I mean, Zode lost four drones there, four SCV, yeah, four drones, but he's still a lot of workers ahead, especially since he's going to take out these ones across the map. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, he's still uh, a lot of workers ahead in terms of uh, mining because Boomerang's got more, but he pulled quite a few of them across the map. And boom all of Boomerang's structures are, you know, over there. They're barracks. They're not walling off. And Zode, I don't think he'll be able to break off this, break through this wall off, but it'll be fairly close. And he can certainly threaten the Marines and SCVs as they move back across the map. Of course, you can't repair buildings until they've finished. But the Depot is going to finish up pretty shortly, and the uh, barracks should finish up shortly. Up, sorry, the bunker should finish up shortly after that, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem for Boomerang. A uh, lot of lings out from Zode, though, and they might be able to. They should be able to kill off these SCVs and maybe even the Marines. But at the minute, just uh, I don't think all those that few lings can kill off the Marines. Not if they kite like that. But with the reinforcements coming in, coming down from. Um, from up the ramp, might be able to get it. One more hit on that Marine, he get, does get taken out. Those Marines do as well, so which means that that ACV is going to go down. He continually is forcing Boomerang to spend money on repairing this bunker, which is not what he wants to do. Uh, of course, Boomerang also has the CC going down behind this, so he's not completely out of it. But if you look at the supply, there's 13 workers for Boomerang and 20 for Zode, uh, and Boomerang is stuck having four of these workers just spending money repairing this depot. So, Really, really well held uh, bunker rush by Zode, and he's he's looking to make this uh, make this a good position. Just droning up, he knows he's completely safe because uh, if anything leaves Boomerang space, he's going to know about it because he's right there attacking it. Uh, the two barracks have landed now, so he should just about be able to, um, or he should force the links to uh, go away as soon as the Marines come out. They can get in the bunker. They can just shoot from behind it. Doesn't matter. And yeah, so those links should retreat in the second fill zone. And there we go, lose two of them, but no biggie. A lot more uh, mining time and minerals to lost for Boomerang in defending Zoe's little bit of couple links. Oh, actually, yeah, Boomerang getting a little bit uh, greedy, perhaps pushing those marines down the ramp, but it does get a couple extra Zoe's as money, so not too bad. Zode getting a third, uh, and Boomerang still, he's not going to be able to push out and really secure his natural for a little while. Uh, he is going to push these lings away, but Zode, he actually doesn't, no, he's just getting gas, so he could, he's going to start speed and start his, uh, I don't know, he might, he might probably go for a lair before a nest, but 
It's certainly speed first thing, and we see that on the production tab. And once he gets that out, uh, he could even get quite a few lings and take really, really commanding control of that natural position because Boomerang has no tech that can deny lings. He doesn't have the factory for uh, siege tanks, hellions, widow mines, anything like that that will be able to really push the lings away. Uh, it's speed lings against the small numbers of marines that Boomerang has would really, really good be good for taking control of that natural. But so it is just he's focusing on his own macro, and that's a fine way to go about it as well. Almost doubling his opponent's uh, worker supply, work count. So yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice stuff there from Zoe. His third base finishing up as well at the same time. Boomerang taking his natural, so he's in a great position. Also, the one one upgrades starting. That's his next gas expenditure. Going to be way way faster. They're of course quite a bit delayed as compared to a normal game, but even so, they. Uh, they're going to be way, way faster than Boomerangs. Boomerangs, no, uh, no uh, engineering bays on the horizon yet even. I wouldn't expect to see any come out before uh, either Starport or a couple extra barracks either. And Bailing Nest coming down as well. Uh, Bailing Nest before the lair is a little bit unusual, but uh, he does. He will need that um, to defend any kind of marine pushes Boomerang comes out on. And, uh, he doesn't really have much use for the lair for a little while, and it'll finish up about the same time as his upgrade, so he'll get be able to get two two and stuff. So it's all pretty nice for Zoe, and he's gonna he's he's definitely ahead. He's gonna need to have something to throw it away. No gas in his main. Actually, taking the gas in the third and the natural first, which I guess means that his main will be useful for a longer period of time. There's one engineering bay in the wall off. Engineering bay is a great building to wall off with because they actually they've got. They're cheaper and they've got uh, more health, or they build faster than a lot of other Terran buildings. So, engineering base take a quite a short time to build and have uh, 850 health. And barracks take a little bit longer; they have a bit more health, but um, because uh, because engineering base build faster, they get more HP if people are trying to break them down while the war is going up. So they're they're a good thing to wall off with. It's why you see uh, Zoe players in ZvZ will sometimes wall off with like four e build four Evo chambers if they're being cheesed. Not because they're going to want to do quadruple upgrades, but because they want uh, they just want to wall off in Evo chambers of like seventy five minerals and seven hundred and fifty HP, which is pretty good. And Boomerang's finally going to move out with these Hellions. So I say finally, this is pretty much when you'd expect after a commitment to Bunker Rush like that. But this is a lot, lot later about five minutes later nearly than you'd expect to see the Hellions. And um, they're gonna move in towards the third and find that there's there's a queen, there's speelings, there's two spine crawlers, there's nothing they can do here. Uh, shouldn't be able to get anything done at the nat either they decide to swing around, but actually Boomerang's just gonna bring him back home. He's got an armory finishing up, which is gonna mean that not only is he gonna be able to research plus two infantry attack when that finish it when plus one finishes on the eBay, but he's also going to be able to morph these Hellions into Hellbats. Which again is going to provide a nice uh, splash damage sort of complement to any kind of push he's going to make out on the map. Third, third base going down at the same time as Zode's fourth. Uh, Zode doesn't know about that, but if he did, I imagine he'd be pretty happy. He's got he's creeping up the third base location as well for Terran, and uh, looks like Boomerang is going to start moving across the map with no uh, medevacs yet with this push. The Hellbats aren't going to be quite as scary. They're pretty still pretty terrifying against a ton of lengths, but. Zode, ah, if he can get surrounded all these Hellions before they can morph into Hellbats, that'll be really big. They are going to start the morph now. If they can get caught by the Banelings, oh, nice splits coming out from Zode, but... Uh, sorry, nice splits coming out from Boomerang, but Zode still just has too much. He's going to spend part of his army crushing through what the rest of Boomerang's forces, and Boomerang has to retreat. He needs to get back inside and raise that slide pretty quickly. Boomerang, are you paying attention to your slide depot? He's not... Oh my god, he, they, the links there are all going to get inside the base. The Hellbats trying to morph up. A few links go up the ramp, but no, no luck there. And all the Hellbats are going to die. The SCVs are coming off the line fighting these links. And already behind, Boomerang Supply is plummeting. But I think with the Marines coming out from the Monkey, it's going to clean up all these links. But he lost a lot of SCVs doing so. Um... And of course, and the bunker and a couple of hellbats. And his first aggressive push out on the map was dealt with with no effort from Zode, no effort at all. And now Zode is uh, going to be taking gas and a couple extra drones on minerals on his fourth base, uh, and starting to really put the hurt on. Ooh, two big hits against the Muflog means they're going to take a little while to regen that up. But uh, yeah, and, uh, and of course lose a couple because the Widowmans do extra damage on their primary target. 
But yeah, Zod also getting a really, really fast hive because he hasn't really faced any pressure, any serious pressure for which he's had to spend gas to defend with Banelings or anything. Uh, he can get a really nice big muta flock if he wants to. He's chosen to spend the gas on Banelings here, I guess, to kind of do a big bust or something. Uh, and he can tech up really quickly. He can get his upgrades. He can spend all his gas on upgrades and tech and mutalisks. He didn't have to morph in a ton of Banelings. <sighs> no Banelings speed is going to hurt this bust quite a bit, but... I mean, such as such, uh, such as the price, and Zoe's going to move forwards. Boomerang's a little bit out of position. He has a few units across the map and a few units uh, cleaning out the third. So the Banelings are going to bust straight through. They're getting on top of the SCVs and smash acid all over those SCVs. Bits pop flying all over the natural, and the Banelings are just going to march on forwards. They could take out this tech lab and the factory, but they're just going to keep on going, try and find their way into into all Zode's juicy Boomerang's juicy units and his SCVs, and more and more links pouring across the map for Zode. The, the Orbital Command's reached the third, but it's not really going to do anything. Zode is ravaging Boomerang's base this game. And uh, yeah, on top of his production, there's Marines popping out one by one, but GG and Hello, we are here on Overgrowth for our second game, and down with O in the best of three, looking to claw his way back into it. We have our Red Terran player. Templar Gaming Boomerang. And his opponent up in the top right, looking to take this game and advance almost to the winner's match. It is our Purple Zer, currently teamless. We have... four forty Gaming, Zod. A uh, pretty normal build coming out from Zod. You see our uh, hatch first, 15 hatch, followed by a 16 pool, which is... Pretty much the most standard opener you can get in Zerg vs Terran. Uh, a lot of different options can come for it. You can go for some kind of aggression. It's very difficult to stop uh, stop the natural anytime soon, but you can you can go into all sorts of things with this. The reef opener as well, very normal out of boomerang. Things settling down much more into the typical meta than what we saw last game anyway. And just the single reaper as well, I quite like. Uh, Boomerang going for a very fast CC after the Reaper, so one Rack Reaper expand. Pretty nice. So it's got six links on the way, which a lot of players have been doing recently. Fours, I mean, you need like at least two to try and force that Reaper away before the Creens come out. But a lot of players have been getting six because you can either use four to deal with the Reaper and, like Zode's doing, send two across the map to try and sneak around and deny a low round CC. Uh, or you can just get six, and then you're much more likely to get a surround on the Reaper and get a kill on that. Actually, this Reaper is going to get a kill on a drone, which is very, very nice. Shouldn't really have happened. Uh, so I, if there's a Reaper around, it's quite often a good idea to just uh, keep your drones rallied up into your main until you can transfer them all down at once. But uh, Zoslings are making their way across the map, and what they're looking for here is to try and kill the SCV that's building the command center on the low ground and, you know, basically uh, delay it. But Boomerang is, of course, building up on the high ground, and so, you know, no, nothing happening there. And Zod, I guess, is just going to keep these links here. He could morph them into Banelings later and do something, or uh, just try and send them in for scouting. Uh, it's always handy to have a couple of units out on the map that you have the option of pressing your opponent with, at least. And fast third base as well coming up for Zod. Uh, it's, it, depending on how quickly Boomerang moves out with his Hellions, uh, he could potentially get a cancel on this because Zode doesn't really have any kind of creep spread towards that. It's going to be very difficult to defend it with uh, with speedlings, even with uh, queens. Uh, it's a more typical defense. Oh, hoo, hoo, and two factories coming down for Boomerang. These is his first factory as well. He doesn't have yet. Oh, he, 
he's going up to three factories. This is going to be a huge uh, number of hellions if it's if that's where he chooses to go. But either way, it very much indicates either Mech or that Boomerang is 40G Smurf account. Uh, I'm inclined to lean towards Mech. And yeah, it looks like I think he's. I don't think he's going to do anything with this barracks. It's just going to be building add-ons. So one of these barracks is one of these factories is going to have a tech lab on it. I don't know whether he's going to use that uh, exclusively to produce. Oh, actually, no. He's producing marines from this barracks. So we've got Alan coming out of that. Are we going to see an add-on or a unit come out of the other factory? I uh, will move back to that in a second because right now Boomerang's moving in on this third base, and uh, the Queens are going to have to step off creep to try and deal with this, which means. The Hellions can kite them a lot better, the Reaper can, they can all be positioned around, you can run around them, and Zoe decides he doesn't really want that, he's, his hatchery's got a lot of health, he's willing to sort of like, let it take a bit of damage. Now that it's finished, of course, uh, there are, there's creep around it, so the Queens can start maneuvering around a bit there, can start laying down their creep tumors, and we see an armory coming out from Boomerang as well, so, yeah. Yeah, he's getting a uh, tech lab who's just uh, producing a couple of more extra aliens. So, yeah, definitely a mech style. We could see a Hellbat push coming out and uh, followed up. Even like a Hellbat tank push. I've never really seen anything like that. But uh, we certainly could uh, certainly could see out of Boomerang. And, oh, did he just... Was that a queen? He just got nice snipe on a queen with those Hellions. Um, and even under the face, under the nose of all those roaches there. So that's a pretty handy little pick-off, and Zode learning from his mistakes a bit, I guess, uh, earlier on in the game, and keeping his drones down at his natural before transferring them over now. Now that the threat of Hellions is a little bit uh, lowered, but apparently maybe it was a little too soon, because, oh, a big clutch of workers pop, but luckily Zode's roaches are there in time to drive those Hellions away. That could have been really, really nasty. But, yeah, Zode's, Zode's got a nice number of workers now. He can start to... Focus much more on producing units. Burrow is going to come in as well. That's, that can make some really cool Burrow Roach plays. He can set up traps. He can do Burrow Baneling landmines. And it looks like we are going to see uh, Roach Hydra, which, of course, Zode scouted a long time ago that this was going to be mech. So absolutely the right response. If we'd gone Ling Bay Mute, it would have been, uh, would have been very, very uh, dicey for him. But, yeah, Boomerang's going to a mech style. Much more... Much more slow pace than other mech stars we've seen. Got a lot of siege tanks. He's gonna sort of try and slow push out, uh, which is one of the reasons why he's uh, building his command center up here. I expect him to take the third base above his main because um, it's much easier to defend that as a mech player. You can uh, you can use the Zelnaga Watchtower with a couple of tanks to you know have maximum range on your tanks, and you can start that slow push from that third base location uh, up through the middle of the map to deny the fourth base, the, this gold base that Boomerang's moving into right now, uh, and you can deny the base, uh, the equivalent base for your opponent on the other side of the map. Uh, catching a few roaches out of position here, the Hellbats are going to morph in, he's got SCVs to repair them, and a lot of siege tanks are going to pump out a huge amount of damage onto these roaches. Whether they're in siege mode or not, there's going to be a lot of damage coming out. And the SCVs to repair I think are really important here, because uh, you can he can back out for a second. Oh, Hydra is coming in. They have to keep away from the sea tank fire and from the Hellbats because Hellbats doing extra damage to light units. going to roast away Hydra And here we see, we see the um, Hellbat tank. And the drones are getting on top of the tanks. We're doing a lot of splash damage from friendly fire from the tanks. And it looks like Zode will clean this up. But he lost a couple drones in doing so. Though actually, not a huge number. Still sitting at 63 drones. Uh, with like one round of lava into drones and he'll be back up on that still ahead of his opponent and I don't think uh, that was too inefficient for him no he's actually ahead on the resources loss count so that was really nice uh, really nice hold by that there by Zod. Um I guess he's kind of being helped by the fact that he has 1-1 one, one, whereas his opponent has uh, currently 0-0 zero, zero, just finishing up uh, mech weapons 1 or ground and air weapons 1 and tunneling claws coming for the roaches as well. Of course, it does really nicely with the uh, with the burrow upgrade because you can't use it unless you have the burrow upgrade. And he can be trying to maneuver around tanks, maneuver around all sorts of places. There is a starport out for boomerang, but no tech lab on it means he's not going to have ravens. Means he's going to he's going to have to rely on uh, turrets for detection if or scans. But if it's very easy to surprise your opponent with a big burrow roach play because they don't scan their army all the time, uh, especially not in Zerg versus Terran, uh, in Zerg versus Protoss maybe. 
But a lot of scans going down here, I guess because that's one of the advantages of mech, because you don't really need the minerals as much. You don't have to be like, wow, I'm wasting so many minerals not using a mule here. Uh, you can much more freely scan around and figure out what's going on. Uh, Zoe's also going to be teching up. He's uh, getting his infestation pit. Uh, this... I was initially thinking this was just for a straight hive. Actually, he could be transitioning into Swarm Host as well, because uh, Swarm the ability to play a patient Swarm Host style against Mech can be pretty nice. I don't think I'm pretty sure Zod is a Swarm Host player, because or at least a player who uses Swarm Host. Oh, here we go. Here's the Burrow Roach play, and he's going to split them up. Uh, the the Hydalisk can't borrow a move, and he unbrows two tanks go down immediately. Uh, the scan it's a little bit too late for that boomerang, and these Burrow Roaches are tearing into the tank line. They're going to get on top of these ones before they I even had a chance to siege up. A couple of shots come out, but they go down. And now Zod is just tearing through the wall. He gets through uh, right on top of the natural. Uh, there's a tank that's going to try and... Oh, the depot does get raised. Lucky there for Boomerang. Uh, and the, it's going to fall in almost immediately with high ground vision as well. The roaches from Lowburn can shoot up and kill that tank off. And Boomerang's evacuated all his SCVs to the third. But the roaches are in the main. He needs to defend that. He has to have something. And there's nothing here. GG is called. Zodi advance onwards.